Good morning, John Robertson, your volunteer librarian for Oscar here again. I was asked to do a quick video, just an introduction to ticklers, um, something that a lot of us use on a regular basis, but certainly a quick introduction would be a good idea for people starting out using this, uh, and perhaps there will be some pointers that you'll pick up along the way. Uh, ticklers is one of the ways in Oscar that you can communicate with other people using the same installation of Oscar as you are using. And I'm careful with how I say that because a tickler only works inside your system. If, for instance, your neighbor across town is also using Oscar, your ticklers will not show up in their Oscar version. Um, much like your messages will not show up in their Oscar version. Okay, so ticklers uh, are unique in communication in Oscar in that they can be not only assigned to a patient, but also assigned a time for them to show up. If you look on my screen here and we go up to the top, you can see this is where my notification for my ticklers is. And there's a little one here which says that I have one tickler that I need to have a look at. If I click on this, it will bring me into a new screen or a new window will pop up and it shows me that there is a tickler for Jessica Rabbit. Uh, it was created by John Robertson. It was created today um, at 9.15. It is a normal priority and it was also assigned to John Robertson and it is active and the message in the tickler is right here. Now, we can organize our ticklers in any way that involves any of the columns here. So if we have multiple ticklers under different people's names, we can order by the demographic name, we can order by the creator, we can order by the service date. Um, we can order by the creation date, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, these last two columns you cannot click on, but all of the other columns you can click on. So, if you just want to see the ticklers that were specifically assigned to you, you, they will all be in a group, and you can click on this to find out which ones are yours, and the other ones will collect in a different spot for other users. We can also um, edit a tickler. So we can change the priority. We can change the status. We can change who it was assigned to. We can change when it is supposed to pop up. And there is a calendar lookup for this, or there is a six month or a one year choice. We can um, add to the message text. There are some suggestions for text that we can use. We can also go from this page into the patient's chart. And this is their demographic page. We can also go into the encounter pane and we can look at, for instance, their lab values or if we're uh, supposed to be phoning them, we can talk to them on the phone and then type a note in the encounter pane that we spoke with them about their lab results. Ticklers are described to a certain degree in the Oscar user manual. Uh, this is a bit dated to be sure, part of the reason why we're doing the video today. We can, um, once we've done what we need to do, uh, we can complete the tickler. We can choose this tickler and say that we've completed it. Or, or if we feel that the tickler was made in error, we can delete it. We can also look at ticklers that are no longer active, but perhaps have been completed. 
and we can um, check on all the completed ticklers for this patient. Actually, my apologies. This is all completed ticklers for everybody, but we can, in fact, go to the patient's chart by using the tickler. And we can look at all of their ticklers and then see their completed ticklers. So if we click here in the orange where it says tickler, we get a list of Jessica Rabbit's ticklers. We can look at her completed ticklers. And that will give all of the ticklers that are specifically for Jessica Rabbit. And again, will show us who they're assigned to and when they were created um, and whether or not they were completed. Oh, and this one was created today, so it has not turned red yet, but all of the other ones were completed at an earlier date, and so they have gone red. Now, if we are in the patient's chart and we want to create a tickler, then we would go over here where it says tickler, and we would click on the plus sign. Um, we would create the tickler for Jessica Rabbit. We can decide if this is supposed to be completed today, or we can show quick picks and see if we want it completed in two weeks or a month, all the way out to 10 years. Or we can pick a specific date by clicking on the calendar and going to Christmas Day. and setting the tickler for Christmas Day. We can change our priority here to high, normal, and low. We can assign the task to anybody that is in your setup for um, Oscar. And we can set a reminder message which of course can say anything, including phone the patient about their lab results, check to see that their CT scan has been done, all of those sorts of things. And then we can go submit and exit. And then if we refresh our screen here, we will see that we have two active ticklers we have one that's due to be done um, today on this service date, and one that's due to be done on Christmas Day. Now, the first page that we looked at with the ticklers that we we're in red with the little one sign beside it, that actually is not going to change because the second tickler won't be added to the number of ticklers until the date of their service date. So if we were to go back into our uh, scheduling page and refresh our scheduling page, we would still only have one tickler. That is a basic overview of ticklers. There, of course, is much more to it than that, but hopefully this will get you started on the process, and then you'll be able to come back and look for more information in this module at a later date.